Imagine a fossil, not of some lumbering dinosaur, but of a claw, um, a single curved talon, preserved in ancient rock, impossibly large. It speaks not of scavenging, or fishing, but of hunting. It belonged to an eagle, of such formidable size, that it defies our modern understanding. This single piece of evidence is our window into a lost world. A time when the hunter in the sky was not merely a bird of prey, but a creature that could have looked upon our own distant ancestors as its next meal. This is not a creature of myth or legend. It is a predator brought back to life by science. A ghost from 15.1 million years ago. Our story begins in the Miocene Epoch. The world was warmer. The continents were settling into their modern positions. Life was experimenting with new forms. On a remote, isolated island, a unique ecosystem was flourishing, cut off from the great dramas on the mainland. Here, evolution took a different path. Without large mammalian predators, roles were vacant. Other creatures could rise to the top of the food chain. The rules of survival were rewritten. This island, a green jewel in a vast ancient sea, became the stage for one of nature's most remarkable stories of adaptation and dominance. Picture an island lush and volcanic, emerging from the turquoise waters 15.1 million years ago. This was not a barren rock, but a vibrant self-contained world. Dense subtropical forests, thick with broad leaf trees and tangled vines cloaked its rolling hills. Waterfalls fed clear streams winding through misty valleys. The air was warm and humid, filled with the constant hum of insects and the calls of strange, unfamiliar birds. This isolated paradise was a laboratory of evolution, a world where the small could become large and the large might never arrive at all. There were no large mammalian predators here, no saber-toothed cats, no bear dogs, no giant hyenas to stalk the forest floor. The largest mammals were our own very distant relatives, a species of early ape, perhaps no larger than a modern gibbon, thriving in the arboreal canopy. They foraged for fruits, leaves, and insects, living in social groups, their lives dictated by the rhythm of the forest. They were, for a time, safe in their treetop kingdom. But the ground was not entirely empty. The island hosted smaller creatures, insects, reptiles like lizards and snakes, some grown larger than mainland cousins. Rivers and streams teemed with fish, and the coastline was a haven for nesting seabirds. Every niche was filled, but the top position, the apex predator, remained conspicuously vacant, an empty throne waiting for a king. On continents, a relentless arms race shapes life. But here, that pressure was absent. The island's animals evolved in relative peace. This lack of ground predators created an opportunity, a unique opening for a new kind of hunter. The threat when it finally arrived would not come from the shadows below, but from the clear, open sky above. Every isolated ecosystem begins with an arrival. For our island, the pivotal moment came from the air. A flock of eagles, likely blown off course during a powerful storm, found themselves over an unfamiliar ocean. These were not yet giants, ordinary sea eagles, perhaps similar in size to a modern bald eagle. Exhausted and far from home, the island's green shores were a lifeline. Their arrival was a roll of the evolutionary dice. They discovered coasts teeming with fish and seabirds, an easy and familiar source of food. They were successful. Their population grew, a new home, free from old competitors and predators. As numbers rose, prime coastal territories crowded, forcing some eagles to look inland. There, they met the island's other inhabitants, primates swinging through the canopy and small mammals on the forest floor. At first, opportunistic snacks, the unwary caught in the open, but soon, a rich, untapped reservoir of protein away from the crowded coast. Hunting in a forest required different skills. Short, powerful bursts of flight, incredible agility between trees, 
immense strength to seize prey from branches. The slightly larger, stronger, more adept hunters raised more chicks, passing on their advantages. Isolation is one of evolution's most powerful tools. On a remote island with a limited gene pool, traits are reshuffled and refined. The island effect can lead to extraordinary changes, insular gigantism and dwarfism. Cut off from mainland cousins, the island became their crucible, forging them into something entirely new. The result of this evolutionary journey was a bird of terrifying proportions. Let us call it the Island Tyrant Eagle. Fossil evidence suggests one of the largest eagles ever. While its wingspan may not have been dramatically larger, its body mass was astounding. Up to 15 kilograms, around 33 pounds, nearly twice a harpy eagle. A muscular body, powerful legs, and talons as large as a tiger's claws. Not built for endless soaring over plains, but for short powerful flights within forests. More akin to a goshawk than a golden eagle. The sound of its massive wings diving through trees signaled impending doom below. Robust leg bones and enormous talons confirm it did not hunt fish or small birds. These were weapons to grapple and subdue large, strong prey, powered by phenomenal crushing force. It could have snatched a 10-kilogram primate and crushed its life in an instant. A heavy beak tore through thick hide to reach nutrient-rich organs. When this giant took to the air, it cast a shadow of fear across the island. For canopy-dwelling primates, a moment of inattention could be fatal. The undisputed apex predator, it shaped the behavior, social structures, and even evolution of its prey. The eagle was a silent hunter, camouflaged against bark and leaves. The first sign of attack, a sudden rush of wind, a blur of feathers, an instantaneous crushing grip. Competition for dominance was among eagles themselves, fiercely territorial, defending vast swathes of forest. Fights between these avian titans would have been spectacular and brutal. Their predation kept primate populations in check, maintaining forest health. The hunter and the hunted were locked in a dance that sustained the island. Section 7. Timeline of a Tyrant Around 16 million years ago, ancestral sea eagles, blown off course, discover a lush, volcanic island free of large mammalian predators and establish coastal colonies, feeding on fish and seabirds. As populations grow, competition drives an inland push. Arboreal primates become regular prey. A new set of selective pressures begins. Under insular gigantism, body mass nearly doubles. Legs become exceptionally robust, talons massive. The species secures apex predator status. For millions of years, it rules, yet specialization makes it vulnerable. Environmental shifts or new competitors could erase its prey, and with it, the eagle. In the present, paleontologists uncover its remains and those of its prey. Puncture marks matching talon size and spacing, piecing together this lost world. Why does it matter? It is evolution in action. How life adapts to fill an empty space in an ecosystem, sculpted over millennia by relentless pressures. The island tyrant eagle is a humbling corrective, revealing when our relatives were the hunted. We were another link in the food web, subject to predation, shaped by it. Islands are fragile laboratories of evolution, invasives, Habitat destruction and climate change can end incredible stories before they are told. In the end, this saga is about opportunity and adaptation, a chance arrival, an empty throne, and evolution's patient work. From modest coastal fisher to colossal forest tyrant, it testifies to nature's creative power. The eagle may be long gone, but its story, etched in stone, remains a timeless and vital lesson for us all.